Hello, my name is Evan Palmashira, and I'm doing my presentation on a video game I like to call Omega Eleven. Ahem. Theme is a blend of high fantasy, sci-fi, and steampunk. The setting is the fantasy planet of Arvon Mekna. Yes, it is a strange name, but you'll see. Yes, right below that, it's RPG with monster collecting and city management. Yes. It's going to have a crazy storyline. Now, platforms are 3DS, Switch, and PS4. <sighs> if you can read, you'll see that I don't plan to make any money from this game. Yes, I do know that this is a hypothetical situation. But if I really did actually make uh, this particular game, then I wouldn't uh, want to sell it for anything. Because, personally, I just... Well, you'll see. Hold on. This is my pitch. <clears throat> Don't buy this game, because if someone is selling it for a price, it means that they are ripping you off. Because I, the creator, am offering it for free. This is a game that holds a lot of personal value and sentiment for me. And I understand that everyone has a different taste in video games. If you like JRPGs, a good story, meaningful choices, engaging characters, turn-based tactics, monster collecting and battling, or city management, give this game a try. If you don't like the game and think it's garbage, cool. Just uninstall it and forget all about it. If you enjoyed it and you feel like you want to donate to me, there might be a Patreon you can donate to. If you enjoyed it but you have no money, that's cool too because this game is free. I feel that sharing a great gaming experience should be price tag free. No ads, no microtransactions, no little fine print, none of that. Completely free. Now, <coughs> Influencer. Well, really, I just want to make uh, my dream game, I suppose you could say. Uh, I play a lot of RPGs, and I love games that have monster collection, and I love uh, turn based tactics, and I love a deep storyline and getting immersed and getting lost in a world for hundreds of hours and then realizing that I have no friends. <sighs> anyway, my game was inspired. The Fire Emblem series, at least the ones that were uh, in English. Uh, Etrian Odyssey, a game nobody's ever heard of, and uh, Shin Megami Tensei Devil Survivor, other games that no one's ever heard of. My favorite game mechanics were pretty much pulled from these games, or blended together in some way that I felt would benefit, um, would benefit my game. I also, uh, I basically just uh, expanded the world made a city building. And the characters within the game are very much inspired by characters that I created for stories as I grew up. <clears throat> so the story, oh yes, I did warn you that this is going this is an RPG. Oh boy, here we go. The entire world of Arvon Negna is run by one empire, the Ravdagar Empire. And times are peaceful and joyous. Technology and science go hand in hand with spirits, demons, and angels, as this world is run just as much by machines as by magic. Standing at the top of society are the Technomancers, people who can summon magical beings and control machinery, and anyone with enough magical talent can become them. In the aftermath of infamous rogue Technomancer Taylor Newton's successful coup d'etat, the structure of the Empire collapsed and the hot smoke rising from the cinders of civilization buoyed up growing militant threats around the world. Continents and oceans have been reduced to little more than places to be divided up and conquered, with thousands of warlords competing for control of the world once more, just like the Rav and Dugar Empire. <clears throat> the problem is that many of these warlords care little for the innocent people living in towns and villages just trying to survive, and so those people are trampled upon. The strong eat the weak, and you are weak. The cold, blood-soaked land you live in has been ravaged and burnt away, and now you're thrust out into this brutal world. Luckily, you're picked up and trained by Master Technomancer Levi Sonata. He's also an anarchist. After you complete your training, you leave your master's abode and travel the world, seeking to advance your own ambition, to once again unify the world and bring peace to Arvon Negan. Or perhaps not. <clears throat> well, we see here some features. 
obviously, this is fantasy. It's going to be huge adventure. You will trek through pretty much the entire planet. Maybe underground. Maybe in space. I don't know. We'll see in 20 years. <clears throat> Summon and command monsters and machines. Yeah, that, that's enough said or, uh, about that already. It's going to be amazing. Okay. Being a techomancer is, is basically just about giving the player options. Summon angels or demons, and you sick them on your enemies, or use them to help your allies, or use them on the environment to change it however you want. And the machines, machines are like vehicles or mechs or droids or whatever. Basically, improve your battle power dramatically, and of course, immune to poisons and all sorts of other things. Uh, I'm I'm elaborating too much. Tactical turn-based strategy. Remember my inspiration? Ah, yes. Way back in the day, a few slides ago. Fire Emblem. It's a game where if any of the characters lose a battle and reach zero hit points, they're dead forever, at least in the classic games. So yes, this is basically hearkening back to classic Fire Emblem, where your characters will die and never if you're not careful, if you're if you're not careful, of course. I mean, Etronauts are like that too. It's horrible, cruel. Anyway, deep dynamic player-driven storylines. Yes, my inspiration. All of those have a fantastic storyline, and very, um, especially Devil Survivor, driven by uh, player choice, because I love that aspect in games. I love that replayability factor. I love feeling like I'm in control. It it makes that every decision has such a deep impact in the world, even sometimes the small ones. Ugh. And uh, yes, detailed, engaging characters. They will latch onto your heartstrings like leeches, and you will get really attached to them, like that security blanket you had when you were in kindergarten and they tried to take it away from you, and you cried, and you broke down. Um, that's, that's okay, we're moving on. But, so gameplay. This screen is very, very blank. Freedom is everything in this game. The freedom to choose whatever path you feel like walking. So um, I showcased some levels. I sent them in to, uh, well, I mean, just the narrative part, you know, for our... Um, our I, I can't remember. It's it's like twelve o'clock. <laughs> uh, anyway, you know what I mean. We drew out the story storyboard storyboard. Yes, that. And uh, my levels basically uh, showcase a lot of this choice, where each choice you make would would wind you up with a different party member to start with that would aid your playstyle. Whether you chose to charge headlong into battle, or be cautious, or in fact just ignore the conflict entirely, because, you know, fuck it. It's not your problem, right? But each different choice propels you along a different path, and a different way to fight that battle, and win that battle. Different tactics, and different, different um, characters. So have different skills. And it's just all of I want this this freedom. Not too much freedom where like the player is confused about, oh my god, I've got a million choices, but just having three solidly different choices in general. So that way there's a distinct flavoring to each one. So by level three, these different choices uh sort of determine your, your path and they each already have solid consequences. So you can choose to go after a mortal enemy and hunt them down, or you can choose to rebuild uh, the village that you just defended. And uh, it's, it's basically all about that, that player choice. And realizing that as long as you have the resources that you can do Pretty much anything in this game. And
And uh, yeah, I, I hope you enjoyed the presentation. Why it's called Omega 11, you'll find out if I ever make the game. But it'll be great. And I know I have no pictures, I'm very sad. And I went off topic a lot, but it is 12 o'clock and I have a final at 8. So please, thank you very much for watching. And bye.